How does a molecule become a medicine? It's quite an expansive story with many key stages. So let's start from the beginning. It all gets underway in the lab where countless molecules are developed, some of which will show promise. It's not easy and takes five to seven years on average to develop a new compound before it becomes a medicine. The compound is then tested for efficacy and safety through a series of rigorous trials. Many compounds fail at the clinical trial stage and the process has to start again. If a compound is successful, then it's off to be considered for registration as a medicine. So, how is a medicine registered and reimbursed for use in Australia? The registration of a medicine is determined by the Australian Government's Therapeutic Goods Administration TGA, who confirm that a medicine is safe and effective. Medicines are generally registered before they are used in Australia. However, there are instances where people may be prescribed a medicine before it is registered. The next step is for the Australian Government's Pharmaceutical Benefits Advisory Committee PBAC, to determine if a medicine is cost effective. The PBAC is made up of healthcare professionals, health economists and consumer representatives. If the PBAC determines that a medicine is efficacious and cost-effective, it can then be recommended for inclusion on the Pharmaceutical Benefits Scheme PBS. Now, if you're impacted by the disease in any way and want to get a medicine subsidised, you're encouraged to have your say. The PBAC welcome input from caregivers, doctors, advocates and patients to help them make their decision. If the PBAC determines that a medicine is cost-effective and recommends it for listing on the PBS, it is then reviewed by the government and the health minister. If the PBAC rejects a medicine, it can still be reconsidered by the PBAC at a later date. Once listed on the PBS, a medicine is affordable for those who need it. If there is evidence to suggest that a medicine may be effective in treating another condition, this can be explored through further clinical trials and the process starts again. So that is how a molecule becomes a medicine and is made available to Australian patients on the PBS. From the time of discovery of a molecule until it makes it to the pharmacy, it takes an average of 12 to 16 years. It's a long journey, but an important one. Click here to learn more.